Oh hi guys, uh, Ronnie here um, and I'll be doing a quick review of the Monterey uh, Soprano ukulele being sold in JB Hi-Fi. So this is the box that it uh, comes with it. Uh, and you can see there the ukulele inside. Uh, I'm proponent of buying uh, well uh, branded ukuleles because of their uh, quality is well known but uh, since I've sold my two uh, con uh, my concert and soprano ukuleles I thought uh, why not uh, try uh, a soprano one from a um, cheaper brand this just cost around 30 bucks uh, from TV Hi-Fi and I'll give it a go <laughs> so it's pretty straightforward from out of the box Now this one, you may know, may notice that it's not yet uh, tuned uh, from the box. So I'm using a Stark uh, a digital tuner this time because I want uh, to tune it accurately. The strings are actually uh, nylon, but uh, they're not that killer brand. I was surprised to know that the wood actually is from Agatis. Uh, it's not a well-known wood. Um, and the front, the back, the sides, even the neck are made from the Agatis wood. So you can see that the Monterey brand. Uh, what I like about this ukulele is the, uh, the tuners actually are gear tuners not just the ordinary tuners uh, from some toy ukuleles. So this good gear tuner should hold the tune much longer. So that's the neck, the back. Uh, there's no uh, strap attachment anywhere, basically there. Even the saddle is made of wood, uh, but the knot is made of plastic. And also this one, I, I believe is made of plastic. And you can see there, it's a full functional uh, ukulele. There you have it, the Monterey Soprano Ukulele. What I can say is that although uh, it's fully functional as a ukulele, it doesn't sound that uh, precise 
or distinct as some uh, for with those well branded ukulele ones um, but uh, if you just plan to travel with it you know like myself just uh, going uh, on a holiday that's why I thought uh, buying uh, a smaller ukulele compared to what I have so it's a good uh, investment just $30 and you can take it anywhere you know and you won't be too concerned whether it gets bumped or chipped or something but of course you need to do to take care of your uh, equipment right so uh, that's my uh, conclusion on the Monterey uh, ukulele thanks for watching